What's up, guys? This is Christian Miranda with Six Figure Medicare Agent, and we are finally back with another lead review video. I apologize that it took us so long to bring you another lead video. If you haven't caught our first lead review video of Secure Agent Marketing, I highly encourage you to go check that one out if you haven't already. Um, today, I reviewed a lead company based on your guys' recommendations, both from the YouTube channel, through private messages, but also through our Facebook group, Six Figure Medicare Agent. I put a poll up there um, a while back about which lead company you guys want me to do, and I put um, several in there um, that I've been asked to do quite a bit, and the one that got the most um, requests was Benepath Leads, and so that's the one we ended up reviewing this time around. So. There's a lot to there's a lot for me to cover here as far as how this lead company works, how my experience went. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So this is the criteria on which we're going to be judging these lead companies on. One being the quality of leads, two being the customer service that's provided by the lead company. Number three, the convenience to the agent. How easy is it for the agent? overall and number four how fair is the price now I'm not going to be taking into consideration comparing it to the price of generating your own leads through your own marketing or own Facebook advertising or any type of social media advertising this is just strictly in comparison to other lead companies and kind of how it matches up kind of in general each category will be rated between one being the worst and ten being the best and then they'll be averaged together to give the lead company a score of one to 10, each category will make up 25% of the overall score. So guys, let's start out with um, the basic principles as far as how Benepath works, as far as what the leads off they offer are, how much they cost, um, and kind of their whole system. The reason why it took me so long to bring you this lead review video is because Benepath is not a company that's going to be bringing you a ton of leads right off the bat. Um, they may have some clients that are, you know, humongous companies or agencies that maybe that's where all their volume goes. I'm not entirely sure, but they just do not have the volume available to give you 20 leads in a week, 30 leads in a week, like a lot of lead vendors can do. And that was what um, really kind of slowed me down. On top of that, they have a four week minimum commitment where you have to commit to their leads basically for four weeks and they're gonna bill you every single week on Sunday okay so particularly I hated that and they're gonna get docked heavily for that okay um, let's talk about their prices and kinda of what they do and so on and so forth okay so here is the Benepath um, agreement okay on the screen here so basically they do a couple different kinds of leads they do real-time lead delivery um, different kinds of things here and there um, the leads that we so that's okay they have a pro they have a premium package lead I did not get these leads. they're twenty nine dollars and ninety five cents per lead um, the minimum lead count is five leads a week basically um, now basically from my understanding and what they told me the only difference between this premium package and the standard package is when the person fills out the lead form you get this from my understanding um, it includes agent branded thank you page where basically your picture shows up and everything that that's nice but I don't know I just didn't think that it was necessarily um, that big of a deal now also the, the, the lead is also permanently exclusive um, as long as your accounts active but if you ever cancel then doesn't really matter so unless you're planning on being a customer of theirs till the end of time they're going to sell your leads as age leads down the road anyway so that's something that I did not like I was not very impressed by um, the package we ended up getting was their standard package because from what I understood it was the same lead um, generated the same way exclusive um, the only difference was you didn't get that custom thank you page and the lead was only exclusive for 30 days but like I mentioned the other one from my understanding as long as soon as you cancel your account with Benepath then they're going to be selling those leads off as age leads anyway so 
I mean, I'm not going to be married to this lead company. I do much better generating my own leads. I'm only doing these for the sake of a review video. So obviously, I took the cheaper package. Um, if you're going to, now you get, you can pick between how many leads you want to come in a week, okay? You can do five leads a week or 10 leads a week. Now, this is the thing that really um, left a bad taste in my mouth. Number one, that four week commitment left a bad taste in my mouth. Number two, they basically told me right up front that they do not have the capabilities of generating 10 leads guaranteed for me every week. Yeah, I was shocked by that. Um, they do not have the volume to be able to generate those leads for me. Now, maybe it's based on my area. Maybe it's better in other areas. I cannot say, but this lead review video is based on my experience with them from my lead order. Um, so they told me that I, the, the impression I got almost was that I'd be lucky if I got 10 leads a week, which in my opinion is pitiful for a marketing agency that's their job is to generate leads. If you can't get me 10 a week, um, what's the deal? You know, um, the guy, the, the person that I talked to that helped me set everything up um, basically told me that in my state, the week prior to that, they generated 15 in the entire state. That means, you know, all the agents that bought leads in my state. Now, I don't know how many there are, but it was 15 period total for the whole week. And that didn't give me a lot of confidence on the volume issues. Um, but that's basically how they work. So, we did the 1995 per lead for 10 a week because I wanted more volume. When I first called them up, I told them, "Hey, I want to buy 50 leads, 60 leads." And they told basically told me up front, they're like, "We can't provide you that kind of volume unless you're going to be on the books for months at a time." Very, very underwhelmed and underimpressed by that fact, okay? Now, when you do a a um a a, a bundle, I should say, or a package with Benepath, you get a portal similar to this okay so this portal is basically to log in and you can kind of see your leads and you can see different things along the lines and you can see reviews and we'll get into that a little bit later um, and then you can kind of see your invoices so here's our invoices of what we paid now one thing that I do, did notice was they made me pay a upfront deposit not a deposit that goes towards my leads, but an upfront deposit that they're going to hang on to. And they communicated to me that it would be refunded to me after my campaign is over, which was really weird and strange to me because it didn't go towards my leads at all. Uh, it wasn't to pay for my leads at all. So I'm like, what's this deposit for? I think it was like 190 bucks. Um, very weird. This is a weird lead company. Okay. That's the main thing I can take. That's my biggest takeaway. Um, we'll get into it a little bit, but. Um, and we'll get into exactly how many leads we got. Um, I was expecting to get the minimum, the 40 leads because it's 10 leads a week. Um, we didn't get that. We got 30 leads, um, and I would say 15 of them we had to return because they were disconnected phone numbers and just things along that nature that made it to where we could not reach them. So half of our leads were unworkable leads through disconnected phone numbers and everything like that. We'll get into that a little bit more next segment. Okay, so let's talk about quality of leads, our first criteria to ranking Benepath leads. Um, so kind of put in, to put into perspective what I ordered, I wanted leads in my area, okay? Whereas in the past, like with um, Secure Agent Marketing, I did half in my area and half in, in statewide of Texas, okay? So I got 25 leads um, in my area and 25 in the state of Texas. I decided this time around that I just wanted to work here locally. It's just a preference that I had. Um, so that might have something to do with the volume. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I know with other companies like Secure Agent Marketing, I could get leads in my area. I just might have to pay a little more. But I could get plenty volume. You know, um, it wasn't really a problem with other companies. And so with, but with this company, it was. Now, the quality of leads, we got 30 leads total, like I said. Benepath says we had 19 um, net leads, okay, that basically were leads that were not returned to us, okay. One thing I got to give them credit for is they did return a substantial amount of leads that we put in um, that we returned due to disconnected numbers and everything like that. And a lot of lead companies have a limit to how much um, they'll allow you to return. Sometimes it's only 25%. 
Um, we returned a total of 15 leads and they returned 11 of them. So I got to give them props for that. But that being said, we still had to return 15 of our 30 leads that we ended up getting. 15. We had to return half of them because they were disconnected numbers. Um, they were just unworkable. Now, as far as the 15 that we did not return, what was the intent like? I always base a, the quality of a lead as far as how the intent is. And a lot of this, and, and this has to do with a lot of different um, aspects. It has to do with how they're actually gathering the leads, um, what the people are filling out, what they think they're filling out. Like, are they filling something out to think that they're going to get, you know, like a, a free Medicare book in the mail and then all of a sudden they get a phone call? Well, a lead like that's not going to be a very high intent. Um, I noticed of these, these leads on our particular batch, the intent of the leads that we did not return was not high at all. Um, we basically got, you know, people that had no idea they were going to be contacted. I mean, usually it's down in the fine print, but um, they thought that they were going to be getting something in the mail, a bunch of people said. Um, they um, were, most of them, fairly angry. Um, and it just wasn't great intent. Now, we tried to do and work with it the best that we could, and I'll go over our results at the end. We did get something out of this. I mean, we made more money than we spent. So, I mean, there's always that. But I'm under the impression that, you know, I'm a seasoned agent. I'm, you know, I've, I'm, I'm experienced. I have a huge book of business. I've worked all kinds of lead companies, all lead companies under the sun almost. So I'm, I really do believe that you could give me the shittiest leads, excuse part of my French, um, on earth, and I could kind of squeeze you know, I could squeeze some water out of a rock a little bit, if you will. Um, I could try to get something out of it. I mean, if there's anything to be had. So just because we were able to make more money than we spent off the back um, doesn't really mean that much to me. I mean, the the ones that we did have to get, we had to fight for. And the quality of the content, the quality of lead just wasn't very good. And I would say for the most part, you know, the, the leads that we were able to get in contact with, you know, I'd say probably a good portion of them, we could not even get them on the phone. Um, now, one thing I got to give them credit for on Benepath is unlike secure agent marketing, they did have CRM integration. So I was able to integrate with my CRM so they could get automated emails. So that was good. Um, they sent me an email and a text message every time I got a lead. So I did like that part of it. Um, but the leads we were getting, you know, it sent, it, you know, we we called each lead an average this time since there were just less leads to work. We had more time. We called them an average of five times. Did not go to the door. We probably would have gotten more if we went to the door. But like I told you in the last video, I'm not going to be going to the door on any of these unless I specifically make a video for that reason. Um, just don't have time to do it with everything we do with the podcast, with this channel, with working with agents. Um, and my own book of business. I mean, I run an agency. I don't have time to be going out and going to the door on every single lead. So we called an average of five times. Um, and a lot, you know, I just didn't think that it, the intent was that great on these leads. I didn't think the quality was very good. And I got to dock them heavily um, due to the fact that we had to return half of the leads. Anytime you have to return half of the leads for disconnected numbers or unreachable people or whatever the case might be, it's never a great thing. It's never a great sign of the quality of the leads. Now they don't have 100% control over that. And I understand that, but I gotta judge them. I gotta judge somewhere, based on our um, experience with this particular um, batch that we did. So because of that, I'm going to give them four out of ten on the quality of lead. Okay, customer service. Okay, how easy is this company to deal with? Um, I didn't have any huge complaints on this part of things. Um, when when I called them, um, sometimes I'd get voicemails, so I didn't like that. Um, I like lead companies that you can get someone at, especially during the day, you know, business hours and that kind of stuff. Um, there were a couple times I tried to call them and I would get voicemails. And I don't want to leave a lead vendor a voicemail and have them call me back. I just don't want to do that. Um, so a little bit of negative there. Um, but when I did get someone on the phone, they were very nice, very friendly, very accommodating. So I'm going to give them points for that, okay? Um, but I am going to dock them kind of big on one aspect. I mentioned the four-week commitment. The four-week commitment does not expire after the four weeks. This is huge. Um, you have to actually send them an email 
and request the cancellation after your time period and you have to do it at least seven days from my understanding before you set to expire otherwise they'll automatically renew you and keep charging you so they make it hard for you to cancel and get out of it they make you jump through hoops um, so the day I placed my order the next day I sent this email in to make sure that I wouldn't forget I got an email back saying that they received it that we're all good to go a week or two later I called back in just to make sure that they received it and they said that I didn't um, they even though they replied to me even though they gave me confirmation they still had me set up to automatically renew um, so the difficulty of that I'm gonna dock them for um, that's bull okay um, and if I hadn't called in I probably would have been automatically renewed um, and they would have continued to charge my credit card every single Sunday um, I did not like that one bit that I have to basically hound them and chase them and bug them even when they send me an email back to respond to basically give me confirmation that I'm set to not renew and they're and we're all good to go and then I find out that it's not true when I call in and they have no record of it on my account um, that's bad customer service so because of that I'm gonna give them a 7 out of 10 I'm not gonna give them any lower than that because I other than that they were nice friendly good to deal with um, when I did need to deal with them but that kind of stuff is ridiculous. I'll give them 7 out of 10 there. Let's talk about convenience to the agent, okay? Um, a lot of them, are what I'm going to talk about in this portion, I've already mentioned in the video, um, but I'm not going to give them a good score here. A couple of reasons. Number one, four-week commitment. Um, you, you have to be committed for four weeks. You can't just buy an order or something like that. Um, I don't like that one bit, okay? Um, I don't like how they can't provide me large volume the way I want it to. Um, they're not capable of producing that kind of volume for me where I can go elsewhere and get leads for the same price and basically, or maybe even pay a little more, which I'd be willing to do, and get the better volume and, in my opinion, better leads. Um, so very inconvenient. Um, I think it's incredibly inconvenient, like I mentioned before, about how you have to send an email off so they don't automatically renew you, and then they're not even always going to honor the email request they send back to you, from my understanding. Um, you got to kind of chase them around. You got to kind of make sure that they're um, getting that done. Now, I didn't have a problem, from my understanding, till after I called in, but the fact that I sent the email in, called back a week or two later, and they still hadn't done it, you know, um, despite the fact they sent me an email back saying I was good to go, um, as far as not automatically renewing my account, that's big for me. That's really inconvenient to the agent. I mean, not everyone's going to be that um, proactive about it like I am. Um, not So I'd say, you know, the volume just really uh, makes it inconvenient. The fact that you have to be on for four weeks. Um, and I, I also got to dock them the same reason why, you know, we docked secure agent marketing a little bit due to the fact that you can't turn the leads on and off. You can do vacation time or whatever, but I mean, I mean, unless you're going on vacation, that doesn't really matter. Um, the leads come in at any time. It can come in in the middle of the night, you know. Um, and I've always liked lead companies that allow you to turn the leads on and off at your convenience. So that way, when you're ready, if you're not busy, the leads can come in and you can you know, receive leads, they don't allow you that option to you. So a combination of all of those things, I think it's just very inconvenient, clunky, a little bit tough to deal with, honestly. Um, I'm going to give them a 4 out of 10 here. Price, price, price. Um, how fair are these things priced, okay? Um, I would say it depends on what lead you're looking at, and I'm going to take both into consideration. I think that the, the standard lead is pretty fairly priced at $19.90 a lead for an exclusive lead. That's pretty good. Um, however, I think the premium lead, the fact that you get so little more than you get on the standard lead, in my opinion, you just get the, what the thank you page, the confirmation page, which I suppose that could be good, I guess. Um, but I don't think it's worth $10 more a lead with that one being $29, over $29 a lead. Um, I'm going to give them an 8 out of 10 as far as fair as price goes because I think the price is good for the standard lead, but the, pre but the premium lead I think is a little bit overpriced and I think you can get a better value elsewhere. Um, but I do think the standard lead is fairly priced. So we're going to give them 8 out of 10 here on price.
So, after it all said and done, um, we ended up giving them a 5.75 out of 10. Um, there's some things to like there, you know, like um, I do think, you know, the standard, like I mentioned, the standard leads are, you know, 19 bucks. That's not too bad. Um, we were able to make some sales out of them, I suppose. But, I mean, I just think for, we, 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 we just barely broke, you know, we probably a little bit more than broke even, and that's about it as far as what we spent. Um the volume, like I mentioned, big problem for me. Four-week commitment, the fact that you have to basically jump through hoops to get out of it automatically renewing after the fourth week. Um, some things to like, but there's more bad there, in my opinion, than more bad, more things I don't like. And, um, I mean, if you're going to be relying on a lead vendor to kind of supply you a primary source of leads, this would not be it, in my opinion. I mean, um, yeah. 5.75 out of 10 was our final score for Benepath. Our results were as follows. Um, out of the 30 leads we got, there was only 15 that were actually workable, um, being not disconnected phone numbers or, you know, fake phone numbers or fake leads or whatever the case might be. Um, like I mentioned, they were approved 11 out of those 15 returns. Um, I believe that all 15 should have been returned, but not, not no lead vendor is going to do that. Um, so based on that, we were able to sell two uh, Medicare Advantage or Medicare Supplement plans. It's my criteria. Um, and we have two appointments still to come this week and next. And then we have three follow-up people for later on who um, either weren't ready to make a decision now or they didn't qualify to change now or whatever the case might be, but they were interested parties so they could turn into something later. Um, but, I mean, I was expecting more. You know, I was expecting more, but, you know, we tried to work with what we got. I was glad we were able to get something out of this order um, and make it profitable, even if it was just a little bit. But those were our results. My final thoughts are these. Um... I was disappointed. I was expecting a little more. I mean, Benepath was a, a lead vendor that I've been familiar with for a long time. Um, we bought aged leads from them years ago, and it was very profitable. I think I spent a hundred bucks, if I remember serves me correctly, and I think I walked away with about two thousand dollars of commission. If you guys would like to see me break down that video and kind of go back and you know see what we're able to do now, that was probably back in two thousand fifteen or two thousand sixteen, but that was very profitable. Um, but you know, they were always, you know, talking up their leads. They talked a big game for years, you know, and they wanted me to, we wanted to do business together. And, you know, we finally pulled the trigger. And I can't say that I wasn't disappointed. You know, I, I was expecting more leads. Um, I was expecting to be able to get more out of leads than we got. Um, I'd say, you know, one of the more disappointing lead vendors that I've worked with over the years personally. And I didn't want to say that because I really did want to like them. I did really want to give them a good score. But um, there's just too many things they do that I think gets in their own way that makes it tough on the agent. And um, quite frankly, you know, I mean, like I said at the beginning of the video, if I get 30 leads and 15 of them are non-working numbers and unreachable, um, that's, that's tough. That's tough to overcome. Um, it could be that we just got a bad batch. Um, I'm not going to say they're a bad lead company because I don't think that they are. Um, but in my opinion, I do think there are some out there that are better. You know, um, I hope this video helps you guys. I hope it kind of gives you some insight, you know, if you're thinking about buying some Benepath leads. Um, and if you found this video helpful, please do me a favor. Drop a like. Drop a comment in the comment section on what lead vendor you'd like to see me review next with my own money. By the way, guys, I do this for you. Um, it's not my preferred way to market and get business, but I do it just to put some content out there so agents can kind of have some resources to go and check out these lead companies ahead of time before they kind of sink their, their teeth into them a little bit. Um, have an experienced agent work the leads ahead of time and kind of give you the, the skinny um, is, in my opinion, very helpful and is something the industry needs quite a bit. So that's the only reason why we're doing it. Um, let us know what lead companies you'd like us to do and subscribe so you don't miss our next lead review video. Take care, guys.